Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome or welcome back. So today I wanted to bring you guys a quick little video showing you guys my favorite brown lip liners. They're all affordable, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so everybody loves a nude lip. I've never heard anyone say they don't like a nude lip. But of course, if you have some melanin in your skin, you're gonna need a brown lip liner to make any nude lip look perfect. So I was like, let me go ahead and show them. So these are them. <laughs> Of course, all of them are from NYX besides this one. This is from LA Girl, but I have eight of them. And you can see right there, let me, let me get these right because these two are really short. <laughs> but you can just tell they're all different. Everybody might think, oh, a brown lip liner is a brown lip liner, like get over it. No, it's not. They all create a different looking lip. So we can see right here, this one's much darker along with this one. And then we got a really light one right here, a true chocolate, milk chocolate brown and stuff. So yes, let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. You guys know NYX, like you cannot go wrong with NYX lip liners. So let's start with the shortest one that I have. Which one? These two are running neck and neck. We'll go with this first one that is Espresso. Love this, love this. You can put this with any lipstick. Let me do it a little bigger. Any lipstick and it's gonna look perfect. Espresso, everybody loves espresso. I haven't met anybody that doesn't. This is just, oh, beautiful, perfect color. And matter of fact, I have some lipsticks that I pulled out that I love to mix in to do my nude combos. Gloss and a few lipsticks. So I love Espresso with Taupe from MAC. Okay, obviously. Beautiful. It looks beautiful together. Very, very beautiful. Like that. But like I said, you can wear any lipstick. Next, we have Club Hopper. Ooh, we've we've had many many good looks together and if you can tell let me pull it up this one has leans a little more like burgundy because this is a true brown obviously this one leans a little burgundy I don't know if you guys can see that it's a little burgundy so it's not a true brown and that's club hopper club hopper also you can wear with anything but I really like it with this one by Maybelline. It's the Clay Crush 656. This is like a little peachish nude. Absolutely gorgeous. See, it's like a little peachy pink compared to this Taupe by MAC. But these two go really good together. But you can wear any of these lipsticks with any of the liners and it's gonna look good. Then, let me go ahead and make sure I don't get them mixed up. Next, we have Cold Brew. I love Cold Brew. Cold Brew is beautiful. See, it's lighter. It looks more, um, how would I describe it? It looks like it has a little red off in it. Of course, it's lighter than these ones, but it has like a little red. You guys can see that. And I just love the way they glide onto the lips so easily. They're soft and creamy, but they don't move. So that's, and Cold Brew, I love any lipstick with Cold Brew. Oh my goodness. Oh, Cold Brew. That's another one that looks very good with the Clay Crush. Well, you can see it right there. I don't need to swatch it again, but it looks so good with the Clay Crush. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. Top it with a little gloss or leave it matte. And it looks amazing. Next, let's go in with New Truffle. This is a newer one to me. This is the lightest one. And this shade, I will say, if you're, well, I can't even say this. If you have darker lips, me, I have darker lips. If you know, you know. <laughs> so it shows up, but it looks like it's basically almost like my lip color. 
Oops. You see how light it is? It's a true nude. Very nude. It looks like a cool nude. Cool tone nude, what shall I say? But it's very, very light. So I mean if you have darker lips, I really wouldn't suggest this. But I still like it on the days when I just want a little bit and then just top it with a clear gloss. That's what I like. But yes. Very cute. But if you got darker lips, uh -huh. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that shade. But anywho, moving on. We only have three, no, four liners left. Let's stick with the NYX. Okay, this one, I've been loving just the brown. And did I tell you guys? Okay, wait really quickly, because I'm just rambling on. So, Expresso is just their regular lip pencils, because you guys know they have the suede and then the regular lip pencils. So, Expresso is a regular lip pencil. And then Club Hopper is a suede NYX lip pencil. Which one did I do after that? Cold Brew is a suede. And then New Truffle is just one of their regular lip pencils. And then we're going in with Brown, which is just one of their regular lip pencils. Love this. This is what I have on today. Beautiful, like, mm. It's the perfect brown lip liner for me. Perfect, perfect, when I don't want it too dark. That's what I mean by it's the perfect brown for me. Look at this. This is a true brown. That's the one I was saying was the milk chocolate. See, now this shows even better that you can tell this one has a little bit of red in it. And this is just a brown one. Beautiful, I have that on today with my Juvia's Place. What are these, the velvet, velvety matte lipsticks? And this one is in Muted. Love, love, love. I know a lot of people are like, I'm not too sure about that shade, but mixed together, mm, 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 mm. That's the shade. That's what's on my lips today, and I like it. I like it a lot. And these are just the cutest packaging. Okay, the last two next ones. This one is a regular, oh my gosh, I have lip pencil on my nail. This is a regular lip pencil by NYX and it's in Nutmeg. And this one has like a little burgundy red to it. So pretty. This has way more red, way more burgundy in it than the rest of these. And you can tell obviously it's lighter but it is a gorgeous color. Very, very pretty. And that goes good with the taupe. But also, also, I've been loving the nutmeg with the, what is this one? Honey Love, yeah, Honey Love by MAC. Looks so good together. When you put it on, of course, this is a very light nude, but when you, you know, get it together, flawless. Very beautiful nude lip. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then the last one. Oh, this one, this one, brown, and which one did I say? Downtown Beauty it has to be, well, this is Downtown Beauty. What was it? Cold Brew, Cold Brew, Brown, and then this one, Downtown Beauty, have to be my favorite, my top ones, that I really, really love. Like this is the perfect brown. See, when you have them all swatched, you can tell there's a difference in the undertones in all of these. This is a beautiful, beautiful brown. When I buy these, I buy about three or four at a time because, I go through them so quickly. Beautiful, beautiful brown. Mm, mm, mm. And it goes perfect with any color, but especially the Clay Crush, Taupe, and that Honey Love. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch it with Taupe. Let me see. I just 
just love it. And then for glosses, the main glosses I reach for with any of these. Oh, and then I want to include this one just because we're already here and we're talking about brown lip liners. This mocha shade by who is this? Wet and Wild, I think. Yeah, Wet and Wild is called Mocha Licious. This is a beautiful brown lip. So with any of these lip liners, you put this on and it looks bomb. That's it right there. And these are like $2.99 and these are so good, but it looks beautiful. Look at those swatches going sideways. Girl, get it together. <laughs> but all of these are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a good brown one, just if you wanna go down. If you want to go all brown, take it back to the 90s with the lip, yes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and include my favorite clear glosses. This Ulta gloss is their pretty pout one. It's just a peppermint lip gloss. Nice and shiny. That's what I have on top of my lips today. But I just got done eating some chicken wings. <laughs> and then the Essence Shine Shine Shine. Love this. It's such a good gloss and it's not sticky it's not thick or anything like that like, do you see that you can't beat it also I like topping my nude lips with these two by elf they're mint melt lip plumping gloss one is in chocolate chip this darker shade and then the lighter shade is in mint chocolate Watch it this way so you guys can see. It's so pretty. And it, this one, what was that? Mint chocolate? No, that's chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. This one goes so pretty with Downtown Beauty as a lip liner because it's basically the same color. So pretty. And you do feel a little tingle, a little plumping, I guess. I mean, I have big lips, so I don't really notice <laughs> if it does plump and then this one is mint chocolate both shades are beautiful they make any nude lip look very pretty or brown lip very gorgeous and then the last two are by morphe i have free bird and these ones are pigmented and they last. So that's Freebird. Oh gosh, this is a horrible view. Sorry, y'all. But Freebird by Morphe. Love these glosses. I don't really use anything else from them, but the glosses. Very nice. And this one is Pixie. Watches are a hot mess. Oh, so Pixie and Freebird. Yes, I just want to make sure you guys can see. All of these are absolutely amazing. Let me know if you guys have checked out any of these already. Use them or if you plan on purchasing any. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys really quickly because everybody loves a good nude lip, a brown lip, especially now the fall is coming up. Like, yes, honey. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.